Only 81 seconds left. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Look, the door on the left. I can see the dead. Easy. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> I don't understand this guy. Like, I don't. This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but... Whew, you never really get used to it. Although, I can understand that. Um, the... The fact that you can literally feel your death ticking closer at, with every single click of your clock, of your bracelet. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. Oh, hoo -hoo. what? What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! Uh, you don't like it when people make fun of you, but you'll make fun of other people, huh? You have no... <laughs> Guys, come on. You little... You want to die? I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat. All right, let's go. Dude, we have more important stuff to do. Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for this. Exactly. It's not going to do us any good. <laughs> Wait here for a minute, all right? I'm going to go see if there are any other doors. Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door, on that iron plate. What's that? It says operating room. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. <laughs> well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Uh, what's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Ah! What happened? What? what? Clover! Hey, what's wrong? Wh what the hell is this? It's... An anatomical body? Is... Is this a corpse? We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. This is... What yeah. the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. D doll? <sighs> You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. It looked like a doll from the uh, outside or an anatomical... Uh, it said operating room, so it's almost like a training dummy, I guess? <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> come on. You want a piece of me, short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. Yeah, I'm so glad I came in this group to keep these two from killing each other. <sighs> Jeez. Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. I'm talking about a heart. Oh. Huh? Uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's like a medical mannequin or something? Yeah, exactly. Or maybe it's got more personal uses. No, seven. <laughs> all the yeah, that's an all the dots moment. Anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. Okay. Sure thing. Oh. Okay. How to reset the clock from last time. We're now taking up. Finish it out. Okay, figure it out. Uh, we have the operating room. And... Seems to be a lot of stuff in this room. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this room. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to explore what's back here. It's locked. We can probably find the key if we just look some more. Let's look somewhere else. All right. Let's go to the other side. Chemical room. Uh, looks like it's locked. I guess we're going to need a key for this one. 
Chimpe, where are you going? Oh, uh, that's the door we came through. The only thing out there is the number door. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you that the number door is a one-way deal. So, you're saying there's no point in going back there, huh? And they're nodding. Awesome. Okay. So, both of these ways have nothing. Okay, we'll go from the left around and then we'll head back to the table. There's a lot of different kinds of medication. It's hard to tell them apart. A whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. They got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. The drawer is empty. Yeah, nothing there. Maybe you're supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill the bacteria. There's a boiling thing over there. Uh, there's nothing on the lid or in the drawers. Thing for boiling, boiling tools to sterilize them. There's nothing in the drawer. Fake chest. Ew. Ew, that's gross. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Uh, that's the chest. It's a woman's chest. The heart's gone, but it's pretty hot. Is that... If that thing kind of turns you on, Seven, you're a real creepo. Yeah, I kind of agree. That's probably why I want to stick with Seven. Because I don't really trust him yet. Can we uh, look at this drawer here? No, we can't. Uh, what's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Maybe it's a heater. There's nothing inside it, though. Looks like it's probably a heater. There's nothing in it. There's a pipe going outside. Yeah, I know. Let's go through that pipe and escape. Are you nuts? What the heck is wrong with you? Junpei, are you flexible like an octopus or something? <laughs> What's under here? Sorry, uh, if you ever see like the clock is ticking and I'm not doing anything, it's because I'm editing out coughs. I seem to be coughing a lot lately. There's some kind of device attached to the bed. It says KG on the panel. Is this a scale? The bed doesn't look very comfortable. Another medical mannequin? Uh, from the looks of it, this one's a chick. She has a name too. Uh, Lucy. Poor thing. Uh, looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and left arm. Maybe we're supposed to gather all our parts. Well, we have a chest, right? An old hard bed. Lucy's head and left arm is sitting on the bed. Maybe something will happen if we gather all our body parts. Okay, so we need to find all our body parts first. They use these for surgery, right? Let's see, syringes, cups, and a plate? There's a sort of syringes thingy. Uh, there are a bunch of surgical tools on the table. One of them looks like a kind of pair of scissors. Can we grab that? <laughs> there we go. Kocher forceps. Are those scissors? They look kind of funny. Uh, no, that's probably a pair of kosher forceps. Surgeons use them during operations. They can hold blood vessels shut and keep fissure out of the way. We can use it to pull stuff out of small holes or something like that. Okay. It doesn't look like anything else is lighting up as far as uh, points of interest. A white cloth. All right. Hey, I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on the display. Uh, you think maybe it's a scale? Huh? There's some sort of lid on this thing. Why don't you try opening it? Uh, I can't. There's no handle. I can't get under it with my nails either. This doll over here looks like a woman. Uh, you mean Lucy? Yeah. Hey, this thing says something too. It says... John. Uh, Miss Lucy over there only has a head and a left arm. Looks like John still got all his parts, though. What the heck's going on over here? 
A creepy medical mannequin is lying on the bed. Apparently, his name is John. An operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? I have no idea. Uh, John's just lying there. Old operating table. Can we, like, look at John? Guess not. Fake organ. Ugh. So we took so we took the organ thing out of the chest thingy. It's a lung, not an organ thingy. Huh? This part here on the back, it's all rubbery. Ah, uh, you're right. So it's a fake organ, of course it'd be. Wait, what's Seven grabbing it for? Hey, it feels like there's something in here. You think we can cut through the rubber part? Didn't we have something for that? We had a pair of scissors. Part of the part of the uh, is a little rubbery. It feels like there's something inside. If we cut the thing open, we should be able to get whatever's in there. What happened to our scissors that we picked up? The organ is Oregon? Really clover except for more from you. Oh, it looked like you could do better. We pulled the lung out on the right. There's still more stuff in there. Man, you're kind of slow, aren't you? You say something? The table that the mannequin is sitting on. Where is our scissors, though? We had a pair of scissors. There's a lot of surgery stuff. There's some scalpels, a pair of forceps, and a couple of syringes. All of it's a little too big to be useful, though. Hey, there's a scalpel here that looks new. This one? A uh, scalpel that's not rusty. Seems like it was put here for a reason, huh? You think it's telling us to cut something? Yeah, I do. Okay, so what if we use this on this? Let's try cutting this organ with the scalpel. Organ key. There's a key in this organ. Uh, I found a key in an internal organ. Okay, so now we have the organ key. Can we go through one of these rooms? Cool, it's unlocked. I think you hang your coat here. There's a bunch of hooks. This place is huge. Let's see if, huh? A piece of paper? What's this? Is this some kind of medical record? New material has been added to the file screen. Okay, well, let's look at that, shall we? Uh, medical record. A medical record found in the preparation room it has a record of two mannequins. There is a male mannequin named John and a female named Lucy. The record shows mannequins total weight and the weight of the individual parts. John is 51.3 kilograms and Lucy is 53.2 kilograms. And it shows how heavy each part is. Okay. Whoa! What is this? I found a beaker. It's an empty beaker. There are four different lights, each one a different color. White, red, blue, and purple. Does this thing react to something and the lights light up? The white light on the top is glowing. Yeah, but the red and purple ones aren't lit. Okay. There's a ray of light going through the beaker. And it's hitting the thing on the right. Huh. What's this? A uh, light switch? Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Okay, what about the door? Oh, the door has that four symbol. I know that from Sailor Moon. That's the symbol for Pluto, right? It's locked. I won't even budge. Do you think this is the exit? See right there, you see the four? That's a Jupiter symbol from Sailor Moon. There's a lock on the door. The key I got will open it. Moon prism power. A uh, sink. The doctors and nurses probably wash their hands here before an operation. Nothing suspicious here. 
There's nothing, like, not even drawers. Mirror. Okay, there's three doors here. Hmm. It won't open. It looks like it's locked. There's a red plate on it. Do you think that means something? Dang. It's not opening. Locked, of course. The blue plate on here seems a little suspicious, though. Dang it. It's not opening. It won't even budge. It's got this purple plate on it, too. Okay, so what I'm thinking is these open based on this light here. Now, the question, though, is how do you change this light? Uh, it's almost like we got to pour something into the beaker. Uh, I think there was one more place that we could look. So why don't we go ahead and... Uh, I just did 360. Back out over here. Chemical room. Awesome, it's unlocked. Uh, hello? Hey Junpei, you think there are any slugs on the ship? Huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on them. What's she pointing at? The label states NaCl, that's uh, sodium chloride. Salt, huh? Do you think Seven will shrivel it up if we put it on him? Hey, you uh, say something? Can we grab the salt? It's a bottle of salt on the shelf, the label says NaCl. Junpei, there's a bottle of iron powder on the shelf. How do you know it's iron? The label says Fe, and Fe is the symbol for iron. Fe stands for iron, right? Yes, that is correct. Can we grab it? Huh? Something stinks. Is it coming from this bottle? It says NH3. Uh, that would be nitrogen hydroxide. Well, that of course stinks. It's ammonia. Okay, I didn't know that one. So NH3 is ammonia. Oh, good stuff. Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says C2H5OH, right? I don't know what that one means either. It's ethanol. Ah, that's right. It's also known as ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made of. So, you're going to drink it? All the dots. All the dots. Nah, I won't. It might say what's on the label, but there could be anything in there. Oh, hello. Carbon dioxide, ammonia, ethanol, iron, salt, water. Um, blue liquid. Looks like there's something inside that bottle. Why don't you try pouring some of it into the cap? Can't see any reason why not. What's that? It's bright blue. Do you think it's alien blood? Uh, where the heck did that come from? Then what do you think it is, Seven? Uh, I don't know. Some sort of special bath soap. Ugh, what a boring guess. Okay, so we probably pour these into the uh, the jar in the other room. Looks like there's something inside that bottle. Uh, why don't you try pouring some out into the cap? Okay, so they're gonna say the same thing except it's red. They're gonna think it's blood. It's not blood. Well, it might be blood, but. There's no on the table. Iron one, salt two, water three. Carbon dioxide question, ammonia question, ethanol question. What do you think this is a hint for? Uh, maybe it's got something to do with this box. Uh, this thing won't open. Is it locked? You probably need to put in a passcode. I mean, geez, they even got a keypad on here. How much more obvious can you get? I can only enter three numbers. E is for enter and C is for clear. Once you input the number, press E if you mess up. Press C. Let's give it a shot. Well, we don't know what the combination is. Like, we know that the codes are here, but how does this help us? A lockbox. Looks like you have to punch in a passcode and keypad if you want to open it. You can only enter three numbers. 
No, we're not going to give it a shot. It's kind of pointless to put in random numbers. What's this? Uh, looks like a can with a spray nozzle. It says CO2. So it's a can filled with carbon dioxide. But again, it doesn't tell us a number. It just tells us CO2 is carbon dioxide. Uh, C is for carbon. O is for oxygen. So carbon dioxide is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Uh, wait. I still don't know how that helps me. It tells me specifically it's made of one carbon and two oxygen, but I don't know how that helps me. Hey, Chimpe, there's dihydrogen monoxide on the shelf. Why don't you just say water? That's H2O. Yeah. H2O. H must mean hot, and O probably stands for orphans. Oh, you're such. Oh my god. So H2O must be made of two hot orphans. Seven. Is your head okay? Uh, the water is two hydrogen and one oxygen. And H3. And it's for nitrogen. H is for hydrogen. So in other words, ammonia is made up of one nitrogen and three hydrogen. Still know how this helps us. It's a bottle of ethanol. Uh, C2H5OH. C is carbon, H is oxygen, hydrogen, and O is oxygen. So basically, ethanol is made of two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms, and one hydrogen atom. You know, we're probably gonna have to write this all down. Iron is Fe, it's molecule for with only one atom. Iron is Fe. NaCl. Na is sodium, and Cl is chloride. So salt is made up of one sodium and one chloride. Okay. Carbon dioxide equals ammonia equals ethanol equals. Iron, salt, water. One, two, three. So carbon dioxide. Okay, I, I, I'm almost positive I'm gonna have to write down all these codes. But for now, let's go into the other room and let's go ahead and use the liquid in this jar. Hey, it turned red. Uh, forget about that. Did you hear that just now? Yes, I did. Oops. Got to hit the right button. Hey, we got a leg. Fake right leg. Uh, the right foot of a medical mannequin. I guess it's a woman's foot, but dang, it doesn't look hot at all. Have you got a thing for feet seven? I uh, know, that's just crazy. You're sure acting kind of shady. Okay, now we pour... Um, the blue liquid. It's blue now. I think I heard another noise. Fake left leg. This is the left foot of the mannequin. Do you think I'm better? Uh, what? Do you think my legs are skinnier? No comment. Okay, so now, if we take, stop pressing down. I don't want to hit down. Sorry, didn't mean to show that. If we combine the liquids, we get purple. I get it. You combine the red liquid and the blue liquid to make a purple one. Good job, Junpei. The purple light came on and I heard it unlock. I'm sure it's unlocked. The lock with the purple plate has got to be unlocked. All right, let's see what happens. Yes, I know you're excited. Cool. And there's probably another body part. Big stomach, eh. Uh, actually, we didn't look at the stomach, did we? This is a really big nose. Oh, uh, that's no nose. It's a stomach. Oh, a stomach. Okay. So we got everything out of here, and all it is is just... All it is is just, um, body parts. 
And that's the entrance to the operating room, which we don't need to go. So we need to figure out how to unlock this puzzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down everything because if I write down everything, maybe I can get a better picture of what's going on. Okay. First off, iron, salt, and water. This is one, two, three. And what we're looking for is carbon dioxide. Ammonia and ethanol And we don't know their numbers Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk around the room and we write down um, How many letters are in each thing and I'll be back as soon as I wrote all this down Well, look at the first line. Maybe question represents a number. Yeah, okay, so I wrote down all of the things on a sheet of paper here. And I wonder what numbers go out to carbon dioxide, ammonia, and ethanol. So, water is three, which is H2O. And I'm looking at... The only thing I can see is... Salt is two, with sodium chloride. Iron is one. Water is three. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I think I got this. So iron has one element, which is Fe. It's a molecule. Um, so that's one. Water is H2O, which means it has two hydrogen, one oxygen, which are three elements. Salt is sodium plus chloride, which is two elements. So if I add up all the elements that make me the numbers, ammonium is nitrogen with three hydrogen, which is four. Ethanol is two carbons, six hydrogens, one oxygen, which is nine. And carbon dioxide is one carbon and two oxygen, which is three. So carbon dioxide is three, ammonium is four, and ethanol is nine. Yeah, that has to be right. So, see what I was thinking of originally is maybe water, which is H2O, you have to take how many hydrogens and oxygens there are and take them out of ethanol. But ethanol has six hydrogens and one oxygen. Since ethanol has six hydrogens and one oxygen, um, you can't put X amount of water into ethanol. You don't have enough oxygen. So these have to be the number of elements. Okay, so now I have this. If we go here, you can only enter three numbers. So carbon dioxide is three, four, nine. Wow, that worked. Awesome. I didn't think that would work. Too easy game, too easy. Yeah, I say too easy. It only took me what, like 10 minutes to figure it out. Fake right arm. Fake heart. It's the right arm at the body. It's kind of creepy. A heart. This thing is super creepy. Uh, this ain't good for the heart. So you see, um, what, what they really could have done here to really throw you off, I think. And this is what my second idea was. 
my second idea was to take all the numbers that we've written down and to figure out which ones have a digit root of nine and put it in in which case a digit root of nine would have been uh would have been salt which is two water which is three and ammonium which is four but then again if you did that you probably could have put in any digital root i guess okay cool all right solve that you puzzle think we should go back yes i do yeah i think that's probably best hmm? puzzle actually made me think about how to solve that that was kind of cool because my first instinct was to see how the elements were related and then i realized you know what with, with iron being only one element that's what it was talking about good puzzle hey, good puzzle what's up oh well is is that a medicine bottle i got curious about it here ethylene diamine tartrate what is that yeah that's right cdt what kind of medicine is that it's not medicine i think it's an industrial strength detergent why why would they have something like that here well probably to clean stuff up clean what up fuck if i know still it looks like it's cleaned my brain up you remember something yeah well i remember a story about edt happened about 50 years ago there was this factory somewhere in america making big old edt crystals they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But a year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. I don't get it. What's the point of your story? Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere, even ones nowhere near that first American factory. They'd been making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. Uh, I don't get it. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just spread. It was like, man, how do you say it? You mean like it was infected with a virus or something? No, not like it spread like wildfire. It showed up in labs that were completely isolated from the rest of the world. It even started happening to crystals that were completely sealed up. It doesn't seem like it could have been a result of this stuff coming in contact with other samples. Then... Well, I guess it was some sort of information. What? Like, the crystals were transmitting this information all across the world somehow. How would their, their crystals? What information? How to make a new crystal. Someone had to tell the stuff how to do it, right? Like he just whispered to the EDT in the tank, Hey, if you do this, you can take in water molecules. Come on, man. That's just... I mean, who is this someone anyway? Someone you can't see. Someone who exists all over the world. You mean, like, like a god? Or maybe the devil. Hey, what are you two doing over there? <laughs> Stop wasting time and get over here. Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez. Yeah, so anyway, that's the story. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. I don't know how that's useful. Information being transmitted invisibly. Could such a thing really happen? I want to see if I can take my little timer and move it down just a little. That way it's not coming up the menu. If that blocks anything though, uh, we'll move it later. But that way it's easier to see now. Well, thinking about that crap isn't going to help me right now. Or actually, what if we moved it to like the top? Yeah, we'll put it up at the top. And if we need to move it, we'll move it later. We need to figure out how the hell to get out of here first. Cool. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go back to our friend on the table. Okay, so we've collected the six parts of the medical mannequin. So the ones we got must be for Lucy, right? Yeah. It seems like it. Well, I say we give Lucy her parts back. Any objections? Nope. Agreed. All right, let's get started. Combine. OK. 
Okay. Oh, there's a number on here. 51 kilograms. What's this? Is this the weight? Well, we were just stacking body parts on it, so it makes sense that'd be the weight. Okay, but... Didn't our... Wait a second, did that say 51 kilograms? According to this, Lucy should be 53.2 kilograms. How heavy are you? How do we, how do we look at that? Hey, nothing happened. Uh, that's odd. Maybe it's the wrong weight. Weight? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, there's a scale on the side of the bed. Maybe. We need to get the scale to a specific number. How are we gonna do that? I think we're supposed to swap our body parts with John's. Oh. Well, let's give it a shot. Operating instructions. The screen will display two medical mannequins. You can switch the body parts by selecting the part you want to switch out. Okay. This is kind of cool. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, countdown for just one second. All right. Um. Fifty-three point five, fifty-one. Oh, okay, we can swap these out. I really would like it though if I could No dice. I think if we knew the weight of each part we could figure it out. We do know the weight of each part. I need to go back here. Not there. That's a calculator. I need to go to medical record. And I'm gonna have to write all this information down. So John and Lucy. So we have, we have left arm, right arm, um, upper, upper chest, stomach, and then left leg right leg oh we have heart then left leg right leg true one two three four five six okay so let's write these numbers down john has a left arm of 1.5 lucy has a left arm of one uh the right arm Wait a second, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't move the right arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, I had written down seven things. Okay, let's cross out the right arm. We don't need the right arm. Uh, upper chest is 6.2 for John. And for Lucy, it's six. Uh, the heart is 2.3 for John. And for Lucy, it's two. I just wrote that one again. Why do I love to write things wrong? I love to make myself more difficult. Okay, um, stomach is 5.6, and for Lucy, it's five. The left leg is 3.4 to three, and 4.5 to four. Okay, so the question is, which body parts are in the wrong order? Okay. So the left arm 
should be 0.5 heavier on John. So this is 0.5 heavier. So the left arm is in the right spot. The upper chest should be heavier on John. So that's the right chest. Uh, the stomach is heavier on John. The heart is heavy on John. The left leg is heavy on John. Shinpei, are you looking at that medical record? You gotta use a hint so you're never gonna figure it out. You're right, maybe I'll look at the thing. Yeah, let me take a look at that again. I didn't write down the total weights. 51.3 51.3 and 53.2 I think that number is more important than the other numbers Because there's a lot of weight that we don't have here So she is 53.2 so we need to make her heavier. Okay, that's 53.3. Perfect. So all the other weights aren't as important. What's important is the total weight on the Lucy side. And then we just had to manipulate it so that we got to the point where we get to the decimal numbers and then you just switch around the, uh, the other ones. Hey, Junpei, I just, I just heard something. It came from John's operating table. We better check it out. Huh? A lid on the scale. Hey, it's the uh, Pluto key. It opened. Oh, I get it. It must have opened because we matched John weight to what was on the chart. Yeah, another instance where I'm making things more complicated than I had to be. There's a marking grade on the key. I think it's the Jupiter symbol. We still have this other purple liquid. Well, we now have a way to open this door, right? Let's open the door. Uh, the door's over here. Hey, hold on. Oh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? What do you mean, where's Clover? God damn it. Where the hell did she go? Uh, okay, J just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Hey, Clover. It, what's wrong? Come on. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh... What are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover. Can you hear me? My brother might be dead. I'm... I'm sorry, Clover. All the dots. Uh, Even more dots. Huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, All the dots. Let's just get out of here. We've got the key. Let's use it. That cool with you? Yeah. Hmm. Then it's time to go. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Just forget everything I told you, okay? Don't worry about it. Really. I mean it. All right. Thank you. Poor girl. Damn, what the hell took you guys so long? You playing doctor in there or something? Hey, chill. Maybe. Jealous? Oh. All right. I'm going to open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking. Just do it, all right? Yeah, just do it. <sighs> Fine then. All the dots. All right, let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy, you know, get a little excited? <sighs> All the dots. <sighs> Even more dots. Not really. Yeah, there's a lot going on. <sighs> My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. Oh, you found it in 42 minutes 
in about 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the timer. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the timer here until it gets in the way and then we'll move it around. It's a little better in that spot, I think. And um, yeah, let me actually see if I can make it a little more. There. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it here and that's where it'll be for now on. So that way it's easier to read. It's kind of hard to read when it's over the menu button because the menu kind of gets in the way. All right, moving on. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.